In this video, I'm going to talk about masterclass, and I'm also going to talk about one particular masterclass that I took, which is my very first one, on video production. This video is in fact the capstone for that course, and in it I am going to show you the actual applications of many of the techniques that I learned, as well as giving you my biggest takeaway from uh, both masterclass and this particular class on creating compelling video. It Around the holidays, I had a friend shout out about Masterclass and their two-for-one deal. I had heard about it, but didn't quite understand or know what it was. And when I took a closer look, I realized it was celebrities packaging their best lessons into video. And I thought that was interesting. I like learning. And what I also felt was interesting is that this friend is a fellow graduate student, someone I'd known in my professional life over a decade ago, and uh, the fact that we both found ourselves back in graduate school with a commitment to lifelong learning, I that resonated with me. And I thought, you know, if she likes it, and we're both in grad school now, I uh, and she can find value in this outside and around her graduate school studies. This would also be a time for me to lean in. I was on Christmas break, so I had extra time to take advantage of the learning. And because I was really putting attention into my YouTube channel that I had started and then put on pause, I thought this was a great opportunity to learn how to up-level my ability to create videos. And for me, having a YouTube channel is something that I have been thinking about for quite some time. I dipped my toe in the water over the summer, but I realized very quickly I could do better, I needed more focus, and I really needed just to get re-skilled and retooled about how to do it better, how to create better videos. And I feel like this class really gave me that refresher and that reminder about how to do just that. So I highly endorse it, recommend it. I found it incredibly valuable for me and hope that you can find the same value. And my biggest takeaway about Masterclass is that it's totally worth it. One of the biggest takeaways that I got from starting a YouTube journey is just to begin. Now I had begun and then I had stopped, but I spent a lot of that time in the downtime really thinking through what I wanted to do, what I wanted it to look like, how I wanted to grow it, and setting the stage for my overall commitment. There were a few things that I needed to handle and take care of uh, in that time that I was doing my thinking and I was doing a lot of tech checks and I was definitely getting a lot of things in order so that I could be able to focus on a YouTube journey that I could run in parallel with being a graduate student. But also really made, wanted to make sure that I overall was producing the best quality videos that I could produce. It was taught by Marquet Brownlee, who has had a channel for 10 years and is incredibly successful. Together we went through introduction to content creation, technical best practices, including cameras, lenses, lighting, connecting with your audience, creating better visuals, B-roll and editing, packaging your videos, and the course conclusion. My actual doing of those assignments, and they were a light test, a sound check, uh, working with B-roll and learning how to create our own B-roll, as well as also looking at our own computers and making sure that we have a good and solid filing structure system, which was something that I was realizing that I was lacking and spending some time fixing that, I think is going to yield enormous dividends in my uh, future production efforts. Hello, this is the lighting setup and this is with all three lights on. And now I'm going to turn all of them off and then one by one, turn them back on. So let's see how this goes. This is a detachable camera that I typically clip onto my desk, my laptop. And the first couple of videos I shot before taking this class, I um, had the, it clipped and I really wasn't understanding that I could actually now put it on a stand. I could move it around. I can move the angle. I could, I could actually now I have it on a little pivot head so it can go in different directions and different angles. So I now actually realize that that particular camera has a lot more flexibility. The camera a bit above me, and this is a pretty close shot. I can come back, but I'm holding the tripod right now because it's not super stable. 
this is now coming at eye line, looking at it directly. And then I'm going to bring it lower. Come up. Definitely see all the other stuff in the room. Uh, but this is perhaps. <clears throat> what let me see if I can get my chair to come up a bit but anyways this is what it would look like with the eye line where I'm uh, above the camera now as with many things in life there's a little bit of you get out of it what you put into it but there's a lot there for you to put your time and energy and attention towards uh, some of it just maybe an edutainment you're just gonna watch it to watch it you're not gonna actually do the exercises or take the learning or look to make an actual application of it in your life but the way that the courses are all designed that are in those sort of multi week formats are for you to actually have a, a, a learning transformation and meet a learning objective so that you can take this information and apply it in your own life uh, for your own personal or professional development. And I'm super excited to jump in and learn more now that I have a one year membership. I simply want to take the opportunity to finish this class before launching into uh, taking on new things because these are classes and classes have a learning objective and the best way to achieve the learning objective is to not only take in the lectures but review the material apply the material and what i like most about this class is there were very practical homework assignments overall uh, i think masterclass is totally worth it but do understand it is not just entertainment nor is it just edutainment uh, part of being a student and i know this is being a graduate student is really taking the assignments, taking the lessons, taking the time to study something, understanding that you key need to keep kind of going back, that uh, some of it might be more interesting than other parts, but it's all there to deliver you to a complete learning objective and you just have to trust the process. And that if they're giving you assignments and things to practice, uh, that it is advisable as your time and abilities and interests dictate that you do those assignments because you're going to come out the other side better for having done them. I did the lighting assignment, I did the sound check, I did the b-roll, I did the line of sight. So I got to get a real good understanding not only of the capabilities of my own equipment but also just again practice in doing that and that's why I also wanted to take this final video assignment uh, just as seriously as I took all the other assignments, so I could really get the learning value and then use this opportunity to share that with you. I think if you have an interest in growing a YouTube channel, this is a great course. I highly recommend it. Uh, but also, whatever your interests are, I will say that uh, Masterclass does a great job, and I am excited to dig into their other courses and materials and learn and grow through that process. I think there's a lot there. Uh, I have a lot of learning objectives as I come into 2023 uh, that I'm interested in having a lot of come learn with me on my channel because I am enjoying this process of being a graduate student and I do get a lot of my learning through a more traditional academic setting, but master classes just feels like a really good investment of my time and I love learning from people who have made whatever they're teaching their life's work and they're really good at it and they have a lot of insight to share about not only where to begin but how to grow and how to think about things so i think within the master class format what you're going to find are three things you're going to find things that are academic they're lessons and they're designed to achieve a learning objective where you put in time over a period of time this class in particular was designed to be 30 days uh, I completed it in 10, but that includes uh, making sure that I was able to finish the capstone video, which you're watching right now, 
because I really wanted to make sure that I took the learning and applied it and then showed that I applied it and now will use this momentum to continue to grow and build my own channel. And there's just so many topics to lean into. I'm really excited to take more classes, but before I did so, I wanted to successfully complete this video production class. And I think I learned a lot about video production and how I can improve my own video production here on YouTube. Now, they also not only have a library of content, but they're regularly delivering new content. Encourage you to go check out the Masterclass YouTube. You'll get a really good sense of the kind of topics and speakers that are covered. Some good trailers and previews of this class. You can also go to the Masterclass website and start watching for free. Uh, you can also read about member wins, where members are invited to submit their stories of what they learned and how it was applied to their life and how it improved what they were doing, whether that's from uh, cooking, being a florist, painting, magic. Overall, I absolutely loved this course. I think I got a lot out of it, but I really leave that to you to decide if I've been able to put together not only a compelling video here, but if I'm able to grow my channel and make a marked improvement over the videos that have gone before. And so however you choose to make the most of it, there's a lot there and I highly recommend it. Our, our world is changing so fast in so many ways where it used to be that we needed digital literacy. Now I believe and what I'm seeing a lot in our society is that we need data literacy and there's just ways to up level ourselves and our skills to remain relevant, uh, keep our interest, uh, find our joy, uh, reignite, reconnect with our joy, share our joys and our passion with others. But I think that there's a value to uh, being on a learning journey and in encouraging ourselves to, to grow and see new perspectives, try new things, or get better at the things that we're already pretty good at, but just level up take everything to the next level and that is my commitment in 2023 and if you are looking for a means to do that that is both fun informative and potentially transformative I believe that masterclass is a great way to do it so overall I absolutely loved this course I think I got a lot out of it but I really leave that to you to decide if I've been able to put together not only a compelling video here, but if I'm able to grow my channel and make a marked improvement over the videos that have gone before. Will my channel grow from here? I believe the Magic 8 Ball is correct when it says you can count on it.